there that's been uh, rested since mid October. Um, P and K levels are very good, and as you see, there's a, a heavy covering uh, of grass here. Um, this field has uh, receded about two years ago. Uh, lime status is very good in terms of pH. So the question for a lot of farmers is now, what would you do with it in a sward like this here that has a heavy cover? Um, look, a lot of tanks are, are full in, in, in this part of the world at the minute, but look, this is a, a sward that ideally you wouldn't be going to with slurry uh, because there's a lot of leaf content here and unless you're using a trailing shoe that's going to put the slurry basically down at the base of the plant and not uh, dirty the leaf, I think you'd be best not to slurry this field. So what would what would be the ideal solution? Look, ideally, depending on ground conditions, probably at the end of this month, end of February, early March, this would be ideal for a grazing uh, light windings. Graze it out in blocks, and after it's grazed, this field will be ideal then for getting uh, slurry. And at that stage, temperatures will have improved in terms of soil temperatures, and you'll get a better response from your, your nitrogen, your phosphate, and your pot has just in the slurry and get the grass plant actually growing again. Okay, uh, we're in a, in a science field here now that has, has a uh, very heavy cover. Uh, it's been closed since the uh, uh, end of October. Um, it's out over 20 years. Um, again, the pH and uh, P and K status is very good in the field. So if a farmer here has two options, you either graze or close early for size. So in the graze option, you'll, you'll graze it out uh, when ground conditions are good underfoot and a good forecast. Um, and then after it's grazed out, and graze it out as well as you can, apply sort of two and a half thousand gallons of slurry to the acre, and then top that off then, probably 10 days later with uh, protected urea. The second option then is to close now and uh, apply chemical fertilizer in according to your, the, the requirements. Uh, again, you'll be applying the chemical fertilizer towards the uh, end, of, end of March to the 1st of April, and with the aim to be cutting uh, high quality silage in mid-May. Mm -hmm.